This is Twit. Leo, we have set a new record. Oh. Yeah. Last Tuesday, Cloudflare updated the world on the state of Internet DDoS attacks by publishing their 20th quarterly report since they began quarterly reporting in 2020. Um, I've got a link on the next page, uh, uh, top of page nine. You may want to just bring that up on the screen while I'm talking about this, because this thing, I'm only going to touch on it. That's why I, I've got the link and I mentioned it several times because there's so many interesting charts and graphs in this thing. Okay, so today's DDoS attacks appear to be um, uh, uh, the the the. the DDoS attack records, the size of today's DDoS attacks, at this point appear to be broken just for the sake of breaking them. By that, I mean that hitting anyone with, get this, 5.6 trillion bits of traffic per second, per second, 5.6 trillion bits of attack traffic per second it well it's massive overkill i mean the only exception to this would be if if one were stubbornly trying to attack a site that was being protected by a leading ddos mitigation service you know such as cloudflare and this is their quarterly report and in fact that is what happened during the week of halloween at the end of October 2024, Cloudflare's DDoS defense systems, and this is, to me, this is astonishing, successfully and autonomously detected and blocked that 5.6 terabit per second DDoS attack, registering the largest attack ever reported and somewhat incredibly, the company paying for Cloudflare's DDoS attack prevention services remained online and blissfully unaware that wow. anything had even happened. That's amazing. It's incredible. Um, so in their report, which, as I said, I've linked to in the show notes for anyone who's interested, they note that in 2024... Cloudflare's autonomous DDoS defense systems blocked around, and here's a number that'll sober you up quickly, 21.3 million DDoS attacks. 21.3 million DDoS attacks, representing a 53% increase compared to 2023. So, 2024 saw a 53% increase in number of attacks compared to 2023. And it's the botnets, right? I mean, it's unfortunately there are, there are lots of botnets and it's not difficult to get to enlist them to generate, to just to throw garbage at a given IP and to knock those IPs off the net. They said on average in 2024, Cloudflare blocked 4,870, okay, 4,870 DDoS attacks per hour. <laughs> Nearly 5,000 DDoS attacks per hour. Okay. And that's not all of the internet, right? That's not all the internet. That's only the attacks against Cloudflare its infrastructure, and its customers. That means that worldwide, the DDoS attack rate will be many, many times more since Cloudflare is only protecting a tiny subset of the entire Internet. Nonetheless, nearly 5,000 attacks per hour, 21.3 million DDoS attacks last year just for Cloudflare. Also, they noted in the fourth quarter, over 420 of those attacks, 420 in the fourth quarter of 2024, were what they're now terming hypervolumetric, 
exceeding rates of 1 billion packets per second and over 1 terabyte of uh, one, 1 terabit uh, per second. So 1 billion packets per second and 1 terabits per second. 420 of those were hypervolumetric. And the number of attacks exceeding 1 terabit per second grew by a staggering uh, 1,885% quarter over quarter. In other words, there's been an explosion in the number of these high volume, greater than one terabit uh, per second attacks from the same quarter in 2023 compared to uh, the, the fourth quarter in 2024. And about this record-breaking attack, they wrote, on October 9th, a 5.6 terabits per second UDP DDoS attack launched by a Mirai variant botnet targeted a Cloudflare Magic Transit customer, an internet service provider from Eastern Asia. The attack lasted only 80 seconds and originated from over 13,000 IoT devices. Detection and mitigation were fully autonomous by Cloudflare's distributed defense systems. It required no human intervention, did not trigger any alerts, and did not cause any performance degradation. The systems worked as intended. Then they added about this attack, while the total number of unique source IP addresses was around 13,000, the average unique source IP, source IP addresses per second was 5,500. We also saw a similar number of unique source ports per second. In the graph below, and I have this below on our next page in the show notes, each line represents one of the 13,000 different source IP addresses. And as portrayed, each contributed less than 8 gigabits per second on average, the average distribution of each IP address per second was around one gigabits per second. And this is just, I have it at the top of page 10 in the show notes. It's just a beautiful chart. So it just, it, it's, you need to see the show notes to appreciate this, but every line is one of the bots. And so there's 13,000 of these little thin lines. And this is the, and so and I have to say the, the um, this also represents astonishingly good control. You know, I don't want to give credit to the bot herders, the bot masters, but to like to bring up an attack. Uh, the earlier chart that you showed uh, from 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 their page, Leo, uh, th th that that showed just basically a big square wave. The the attack began with a sharp edge. It almost immediately came to full strength. It it, it lasted for eighty seconds and then it immediately shut off. That's oh, so that's only eighty seconds. Yes, so it's, it's eighty. A tr it's a test. Well, yes, and exactly. And in fact, uh, in some other reading that I've done, DDoS attacks are often being aimed at people who are capable of measuring them because they want to know. Show we can do. Yes, and 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 when you think about it, they don't know. They're right. they're sure. commandeering routers. Right. They're you know they're grabbing routers and NAS boxes and These random are from crap. Mirai. This is all a Mirai bot. That's amazing. yes, thirteen thousand Mirai, uh, a thirteen thousand agent Mirai botnet did this. Mm. And I mean, this melts wires. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's a lot of data. It is just, it's, it's just It's also crazy. very impressive, and of course, that's why Cloudflare writes the blog post, that they were that, able to, to, to mitigate this 100%. Yes. yes. If you were, if you were like a gambling site or, you know, because- It's a for, big ad for, for them. <laughs> it, it is yeah. a big ad for them. Yeah. I would argue they deserve it. And of yes. course, they're not the only people who are able to, to do DDoS attack mitigation, uh, we, we've named a bunch of them before. I think Akamai has a, a service. I think Microsoft offers a service. Amazon does. Yeah. Yes, Amazon does. So, you know, there are alternatives. Um, 
but wow, just just 5.6 terabits, trillion bits per second, per second. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security.